This may or may not be me taking a shot with Alexa, but we'll talk about that more later in the video. First and more importantly, this might be the fourth or fifth version of this video because every time I went to record, more information would come out as this Omega X situation was evolving and escalating. Omega X recently completed the American leg of their world tour in LA on October 22nd. At 11.45 p.m. PST, Zen posted a photo thanking their fans. About two hours later at 1.48 a.m. PST, an audio clip was posted by someone saying they witnessed the CEO of Omega X's company hitting the members. After this, SBS News picked up the story and transcribed the audio. <laughs> Media outlets were now trying to contact Spire Entertainment, but the only response was that they were trying to confirm the situation over in the US. This is when more stories started surfacing about Omega X being verbally abused on a couple different occasions by a woman who people are now suspecting was the same CEO. Now that this had exploded, we finally got an official response from Spire Entertainment explaining that after completing the tour, there was a team-wide celebratory dinner held. They confirmed that the conversation circulating on social media was indeed recorded at that dinner. Apparently, while discussing the hard work that went into the tour, what's in store for the future, and certain moments that may have caused disappointment in one another, the conversation got heated and quote, voices were raised. But they want to reassure everyone that the company and the members have resolved all hard feelings. They'll continue moving forward together while being more considerate toward one another, ending by apologizing for causing concern. And whether you believe that or not, after this statement was released, news outlets started reporting that the plane tickets for the Omega X members to fly back home to Korea that morning were now cancelled. But even though the members did not board that flight, other staff apparently still did. After this news blew up, the CEO of Spire Entertainment came out stating they had already been discussing cancelling those reservations for the past three days because it seemed like the seats they booked on that flight could have been mixed with fans. The statement goes on to say that this was a one-sided allegation started by an anti-fan. She explained that she was exhausted being up several nights in a row. She even had a bloody nose because she was so tired, but the members didn't think to make her feel better. And because they didn't care about her, she acted out of disappointment. Because according to her, usually she's extremely polite with them. Now, the next day, a video was released showing the CEO yelling at the group, then seen berating member Jehan, dismissing and accusing him of faking what seems to be a panic attack. You can see his members asking her to please stop, but she seemingly continues to be upset that the members didn't look after her the same way. Later on, when Jehan tries to enter the elevator, the CEO angrily grabs him, making him fall over. The video ends as the members try to help Jehan up, who is seen in tears. However, despite the video, she's still denying any kind of abuse toward the members, again saying they don't take care of her. Now that this has blown up to the extent that it has, former groupmates of Sir Omega X members' previous groups have called out the abuse. Even more stories are coming out about the CEO, including from notable creator Edward Avila, who has worked with Omega X in the past and apparently already had a weird feeling about this woman when she was present for their filming. He also goes on to criticize the statements that she has been putting out. Now, after the release of the video, SBS then reported the Omega X members and one manager were finally able to board a flight home. However, were only able to do so by purchasing their own tickets by calling their families for help. On top of that, it was also revealed that at one point, hotel security and local police had to confront the CEO twice as she reportedly caused a commotion inside the hallways of the hotel. Thankfully, the members did make it home okay with the company's chairman there to meet them. Although people are not too happy about this, as it said, and correct me if this is wrong, but supposedly the chairman and the CEO are a married couple. Hence, maybe why she hasn't gotten any disciplinary action that we know of and why the chairman greeted 
landed them at the airport, yet didn't arrange the flights for them to get home in the first place. The last thing we know about this situation is that Omega X's weekly party room show has been cancelled this week while more stories and allegations come out about their CEO. But that's not the only physical assault story we saw this week. For those who don't know, Bowman is a notable Chinese American trainee under FM Entertainment and a member of pre-debut group Mont Arena. Recently, Bowman had to cancel a scheduled live stream after being jumped and assaulted in New York. Bomhan is currently visiting family so there's no manager or staff with him and in a post he stated quote got New Yorked again along with a picture showing the bruises on his face. His caption is most likely a reference to this not being the first time he had been attacked in his home state of New York. And then he took his hand and then he choked me which is a which is a weird form of attack. <laughs> like if you're in a public setting like like, first you call me, like, kind of flamboyant. That's not the word he used. <laughs> and then your form of attack is choking me. Like, like, thanks, I guess. And then his, like, fingernail, like, cut my neck. Hopefully, he'll be okay, but we do have updates on other artists' physical health. TXT's Pumkyul was recently seen leaving the stage during their concert in Thailand. The members explained to the crowd that he wasn't feeling well. <laughs> However, he did eventually return to perform their final song for the fans. Hybe later updated that even though he wants to continue with their upcoming schedules, it looks like it'll be dependent on his health status at the time. Hybe also updated on the status of the Seraphim's Chewan and Yeonjin following their recent car accident. After canceling some of their comeback promotion activities for the girls to recover from bruises and muscle pains, it was announced that they will now resume activities with their conditions being carefully monitored. And just for that extra reassurance, the girls themselves themselves both came out to let fans know that they were okay. The last pieces of serious news have to do with departures. However, one didn't necessarily come out of nowhere as it was announced that Seolhyun will now be parting ways with FNC after 10 years with the company to begin a new chapter in her career as she continues her pursuit into the acting world. The other one did come out of nowhere when Cube Entertainment suddenly announced that Lightsome will now quote reorganize as six members with Hyun and Jian now departing the group. We have no idea why. The two were the youngest in the group if that has anything to do with it. So if it was a personal decision for them or something having to do with school, that would maybe make sense. But if it was just the company deciding to kick them out, I can't imagine what that heartbreaking conversation was like. Now, from what I understand, the statement doesn't say the girls are leaving the company. So I'm wondering, is Cube just done with the two girls now? Or could we see them debut again in the future? Finally, after the the cheating and gaslighting accusations we discussed in a previous video, RBW has now officially announced that Raven has expressed his intent to voluntarily leave the group out of concerns for harming the members and the fans. Despite this, RBW are still intending to investigate the facts and unveil the truth through a lawsuit as he is still under the company. And now, because this video definitely needs it, let's talk about the positive things that we can celebrate in K-pop. I'm putting this story in this section because it is nowhere near as serious as anything in the first part of the video. Out of nowhere, reports started going around claiming that Akmu's Chanhyuk and From His Nine Serum are currently and have been in a relationship for a year now. It was stated that the two have been posting photos from the same locations, have been seen with supposed couple rings, and one account spotting them on a date. Even their in-ear headsets have been been analyzed and the meaning behind them, further speculating the connection between the two. This rumor eventually got enough attention for YG Entertainment to address it. However, in true YG fashion, the company simply said, Mind your business, that's all. Mind your business. The funny thing is that this isn't even the most surprising thing Chan Hyuk has been in the headlines for this week. We all know his immense talent and dedication to music, and that is further cemented with the way he's promoting his new album and telling its story, from performing with his back to the camera and audience, to literally shaving his head on stage. Fans who were there actually got to keep some of it, and of course, how can anybody forget this interview? <laughs> Oh!
Congrats to Idol who has now earned a perfect all kill with two songs in one year. And the reason I bring up this particular achievement is because they are the first to do so since twice all the way back in 2016. Also congrats to TVXQ's Changmin who's now become a father to a healthy baby boy after his marriage announcement back in 2020. We just mentioned them happy 7th anniversary to twice. It feels so good saying that knowing they just renewed as a group and we'll be celebrating even more anniversaries with them. Happy 4th anniversary to ATs. With how good they are and how much they've accomplished up to this point, it's kind of hard to believe it's only been 4 years. And even though 4 years has flown by when it comes to ATs, the last year and a half seems like a slow crawl when it comes to waiting for Shiny's Taemin in the military. That's why it was such a pleasant surprise to see him make a public appearance at Key's solo concert. Not only did he bring along Shiny's light stick, but he also held up a slogan reading Key Bum, I've missed you. We also had Exo Suho coming from Japan off the plane straight to Xiumin to surprise him for his solo promotions. Chanyeol also did the same only days after he was discharged from the military. And how could you not get emotional watching Yoo Jung's reaction to seeing Doyeon surprise her backstage right before her solo debut stage? <laughs> 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 And finally, let's address the Alexa shot. My mom, my dad, former classmates, former people I worked with, heck, even somebody that went to the same high school as me, we did a shot together, what's good? As you can see, recently I went to Alexa's concert in her home state of Oklahoma. One of my friends, as she mentioned, happened to go to the same high school as her. The next thing I know, in front of her friends, teachers, and family... Mom and dad, this happened to Jersey City. 